Hi, my name is John Flett. I'm a pediatrician passionate about helping families, children, and teachers and schools with children that are struggling with ADHD. And a question I'd like to really pose to you, what causes ADHD? This year I've been doing lots of assessments and seeing families that come to me and are not quite sure what's wrong with their child. They've been told that there's a concentration problem. They accept there's a concentration problem. They see problems at home, their child getting organized in the morning, but chaotic. They've constantly got to kind of almost be on their case in the morning. They take time to get going. Sometimes children have behavior problems. And these problems have probably been going on several terms of last year, the year before. And then this year, these things haven't gone away. And the teacher, like the previous teachers, has approached the family and said, look, there's still this problem. They know intuitively their child's very smart. And yet they're not really doing and unlocking what they're capable of. So I'd like to talk to you about what actually causes ADHD. So I'm going to start off by telling you what ADHD is not. And it can sometimes help unburden parents from the guilt they feel. A lot of parents blame themselves for maybe absent parenting, working too hard, not being at home, being present, maybe not spending enough time. ADHD is not caused by parenting. It's not caused by the lack of parenting. Some parents in South Africa, particularly a new generation of children, they go to different type of schools than their parents did in the past. The transformation process in South Africa has really come on a long way. And I often see parents who were previously kind of disadvantaged, didn't have opportunities, but are intelligent, successful people and maybe also struggled at school, but these problems weren't picked up. And they often blame themselves thinking, well, maybe I'm the cause of it. Well, I'm gonna tell you it's not. ADHD is not due to parenting. ADHD can be assisted by good parenting, but it's not caused. It's not caused by the school. It's not caused by the teacher. Some parents think, well, you know, Maybe during COVID, my child didn't get the right grounding. They're behind because, you know, they weren't given the right uh, kind of uh, tools. Um, the teachers weren't that present. And they feel that this is the cause of their child's kind of not being successful and not doing well. Well, the whole world was exposed to COVID. And every child in the world underwent the same kind of difficulties. And it's not every child that now presents with a problem. So what I would say to you is that ADHD is not caused by schooling. ADHD is not caused by diet, sugar. It's not caused by lack of vitamins. Vitamins and all these kind of products that you can buy that are health related, they don't necessarily kind of take ADHD away. The other thing that I'd like to tell you about is ADHD is not an intelligence problem. It's not due to lack of intelligence. And it's not due to learning problems. Those are associated problems. ADHD is genetic. You're born with it, but you only see it. You don't see it in a newborn baby. Children with ADHD don't look different. They look normal. They have absolutely the same kind of abilities as everybody else. It's not a lack of training. It's not a lack of kind of ability. ADHD is not a concentration problem, really. It's a self-control problem. Children have difficulty controlling what they concentrate on. They can, they can watch TV, they can pick up a phone, they can hyper-focus on things they like, gaming, outside, sports, Lego, things they're interested in but they can't control what they concentrate on. ADHD is a self-control problem. So that's what I do for a living. I'm gonna help you understand the problems with your child. Don't worry about medication. That's the easy bit. 
The important thing is understanding what ADHD is, is and what ADHD is not and finding out the associated problems. Because if you don't pick up those problems, I see children every day that are on ADHD medicine and are not doing well. Because A, maybe their medicine is not the right one, but they haven't been properly evaluated to pick up all those associated problems. And that is the key. My job is to help you understand what ADHD is.